from 18 to 24 in Houston. While in Houston, did you have a major high point and a major low point? If so, what was the high point? What was the low point? Uh, As far as shooting or just, just in general? every day? Um, the high point, I would say just, the, just being there. Right. The, the, being being where I'm from and how I grew up and what I didn't see <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, yeah. you know stuff like that I never thought I would be able to go to college I just knew I was smart right and I knew I was you know gonna have a hustle right cause that's all I knew that's all you, you, you know, have just, you know yeah. just watching who I was around right. but I never thought I would be able to go to college cause I know my mama couldn't afford it or my daddy couldn't afford it or you know what I'm saying but band helped me get there so you know, a band helped me get to college, and so I would say just being there was always a high point. And um, you know, the networking, yeah, I can yeah. go anywhere in the world now and know somebody. Right, right, right. You That's know what important, I'm saying? especially in our line of work. And then um, I would say the low point is like when I had to leave. You didn't want to go. Nah, I didn't want to go. I was man. I, 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 I ain't gonna, need, I ain't gonna even get into it, but man, I, I, I had to leave. Like I say, I was. Probably was, it was like February. I probably had like three more months to finish the semester. Mm -hmm. And then sure. that next year, that's when I would have been, you know, on the way to being done. Thing. Yeah. Do you feel that it was, a for, for whatever the reason, the major part, the H, do you feel that it was a blessing in disguise to where it propels you where you are today? I mean, like we said, we just mentioned you've done 10 plus videos with an artist or do you think that if you would have stayed, you would be in a lot better place? What do you think? Um, I think. I mean, we all got a story, you know what I mean. I think it's, I think I just would have been on. Uh, okay, well I take that back. Um, like I just say it it would it would have been a different career path. Probably, right. probably. Okay, I put it like this. I I would have had a a better backup plan. You know what I'm saying? Right. If I just, cause the average person, you know what I'm saying? They got their everyday job Not that they problem. working for somebody, right? And then they have their dreams. But really, that person that's working a nine to five, depending on who it is, it's not everybody. But right, right, right. they they not really happy. Yeah, they're not really happy, or they. They're not really excelling at the dream because they work in somebody else's. They pay somebody else's bill. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So, but that person who like me going in every day, right? I ain't never had a nine to five. I just always had a hustle. Right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? You, you know, you gonna you be up a lot. You can be up a lot quick, fast. But then you know, some days you might be. Uh, this frustrating, right, right, you know right. what I'm saying? Or, it comes with the territory. And then too, another thing about that is, you have you know your peers around, not even your peers, but like maybe older family members or something mm -hmm. like that. They they'll hit the 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 real job word, but when they in need and you oh, up, man. when you when you when they in need and you, you up you. and you, <laughs> you 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 got it, you know what I'm saying? Because right. I'm gonna always have some money. Everybody know, anybody know me know I'm gonna keep some money. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, that that's like a heartbreaker at the same time. You're like, dang, well, when you bragging about me, is it because you just talking or, you know? But then in in, in when the close when the door closed, you real job in me. But when you in need and I got it, everything all right. I mean, but what, I mean, you, you know, man. I mean, it's, it, we both listen to zero. You know, you know what he says. You know, you know when when. When you were a friend in need, you know what I'm saying, you'd be there, but whenever you struggling, yeah, nobody really wanna fuck with you. <laughs> or as you said, you said it perfectly, are you only promoting me to for me to help you in that sense, or are you promoting me just because out of the bottom of your heart, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey man, go make sure y'all go follow my boy, man, Los at Auto Nation, man. If you need an interview, hit him up. 